my goodness, Liverpool in a, a pickle. You might say, Keith Tracy, what went wrong for them this evening? Well, we've used so many words here, flat, standoffish, some of the decision makings in defence are, are, are really, really poor, when to engage, when to go and close the space down. But ultimately, I think Jurgen Klopp would be talking, you know, I was talking about the chaos of Anfield when the, when the crowd get behind them and the Liverpool team are on the front foot. Just never seemed to happen whatsoever. And look, I give Atalanta huge, huge credit for that. That boy, Samaka, was brilliant. Two goals and one assist tonight, but... Liverpool just never really got hold of the game and I thought once they brought their, their so-called bigger boys on a half time and then they brought Robertson on a little bit later I thought yeah, maybe, maybe they'll kick into gear but it just never really happened and Atlanta at big, big moments in the game managed to hit the back of the net Nunes again was a little bit wasteful at times but Liverpool a million miles off of the day that energy, that rock and roll football that they have just wasn't there. Why didn't that turn around at half time? He sent for the cavalry clop at half time with Salah coming on, Robertson come on, Zabozlai come on, Diaz came on later. But still, there was never really any sense of that, that sort of Anfield momentum. Well, first of all, he picked the wrong team to try and win the match. We warned before the match how good Atalanta can be. And the team he picked was an indication that he didn't over-respect them by playing Samarcus, Jones, Elliot in the positions they played and Gakpo as well. And I did say to you, sometimes it can be too late when you change the team. Mm. And that's what happened. He changed the team and the subs made no impact in the game. It was a masterclass by that team, by Gasparini, uh, his team, and the, the, the tactical setup, the back four, the box four in the middle of the field and the two up front. Why did it cause Liverpool so many? problems? Um, I, I think there was a lack of energy around the Liverpool team. There was, there was a bit of casualness. Sometimes when you don't pick the best team, the players who are the best players feel maybe this isn't as important as usual and they're slightly off. And then the ones that come into the team are not good enough to, to grasp the, the, uh, the challenge that was there for them. And they weren't good enough tonight. They were outplayed. The, the opposition, Atalanta, played uh, Atlanta played very well defensively even though it was only four I normally when I watch them are usually three centre-backs two wing-backs tonight it was a, a, a flat-back four but Zappa Costa they went man-to-man -man all over the pitch on Liverpool disrupted their rhythm and played their own game got lots of players into the box when they got opportunities and they got the just rewards with the goals Liverpool made some terrible mistakes and missed some easy chances which didn't help them at all and Creevy and Kelleher had a very mixed night, I'd say, a couple of brilliant saves, but probably a fault on two out of the three goals. So I think what Brian's saying, Keith, is that Klopp underestimated and arguably maybe, maybe disrespected what Atlanta could bring to the table tonight by, by picking that team and, and therefore has, has paid the price for, for, for his own decision-making, has he? Yeah, Would you possibly. Agree with that? Yeah, look, it's definitely not Liverpool's strongest strongest team, and when you don't put out the strongest team, you get turned over. That's what people are going to highlight. Personally, I still think on paper that Liverpool team is better than the Atlanta team. It's just a case of energy going and employing yourself and making the right decisions at the right times. And I know Nunes missed one or two chances as well, but the the, the energy in the midfield for Liverpool is such a big team, putting people under pressure, making them feel uncomfortable. Atlanta were largely comfortable within the game. They never got them on the back foot, never got them rattled. And that these, these are, you know, words we use with Liverpool, chaos, rattling people. They just didn't have it. I don't know whether they didn't have it in their do you think they've just ran? Yeah, do you think they've just run out of energy juice with the amount of games, the amount of competitions they've been in? I, I think there's a touch of that, but they'd 70% of the ball tonight, Tommy. And when, when Atlanta won it, I don't think Liverpool's Liverpool's like they, they didn't go up in the gears they sort of just stayed at the same level there was no change in tempo when they were running and when, when Atalanta won it they went straight for the juggler and the Liverpool's recovery runs I'm sure we'll touch on later just was nowhere near it's, uh, Atlanta were running harder and stronger than them and you know you can, you can take being beaten by a team but being outworked by a team mm. being outhustled by a team especially at home will hurt Jurgen Klopp 